Well, for more analysis, I'm joined by our international affairs editor, Angela Diffley. Angela, welcome to the programme. Uh, what are we hearing from Assange's supporters there in London? Well, it's very interesting to notice this new background to uh, what his supporters are saying. We heard there, of course, from Stella Assange, his wife, talking about comparisons which they see with the very suspicious circumstances around the death of Alexei Navalny. They are suggesting that Putin is going to love this if if uh, Julian Assange is extradited to the United States. She talked about the United States virtually criminalising investigative journalism, and that is what they are very keen to push to the fore. There are a number of uh, Amnesty International, Human Rights uh, Watch, uh, and a number of journalist groups are there in support of uh, Julian Assange. Uh, uh, they also, his lawyer pointed out today, that... Uh, National security leaks in the United States are fairly routine. It does happen quite often, and it is very rare for a prosecution to take place. So they are insisting that this is politically motivated. The United States points out that in this particular case, they say that uh, Julian Assange endangered the life by uh, divulging the identity of key people, key informants in Iraq and Afghanistan, and that their lives were put in danger. That is why they say they are taking this so seriously. It's important for Assange's people to make clear that they see this as a political, politically motivated uh, prosecution because the UK-US extradition treaty excludes uh, that sort of uh, case. OK, and, and, and this is being billed very much as being a last chance for Assange's legal team to try to prevent him from being extradited to the United States. I mean, is that the case? Well, today he doesn't have to prove, his team do not have to prove that this is politically motivated or anything along those lines. What they have to prove today is that he can, they have to win, that he can appeal against this uh, extradition ruling which was made in 2021 and then confirmed by the UK Supreme Court in 2022. That is what they have to do uh, today and it's, it's likely to go on until tomorrow and finish. Maybe tomorrow, we don't know. Uh, it is, that is what they are uh, set to do. If they lose their argument, then Stella Assange has uh, uh, talked of taking this case to the European Court of Human Rights. Now, that would not be on about, about a politically motivated uh, or not uh, argument either. It would be about his human rights and they would apply for an emergency injunction. It's worth looking at how this is viewed in the United States. Obama commuted the 35-year jail sentence that Bradley Manning, who handed over documents to Assange. He commuted that to four years. Trump pursued this extradition and Biden has continued to pursue it and has said that Julian Assange resembles more, he said, a high-tech terrorist than a whistleblower. So there's not much to be gained by uh, sticking up for Julian Assange in a US electoral campaign. OK, well, thank you very much indeed for that. Angela Diffley, our international affairs editor. Thank you.